I'm Logan. And I'm Ash. And welcome to the MHS Daily Claw, a monthly news program where we recap what happened last month and what to look forward to this month. But if it's a monthly show, then why is it called the Daily Claw? Well, you know, good question. It just sounds better. Okay, let's just get on to it then. We kick the 2022 school year off with a bang. Lots of exciting things happening each and every day in our classrooms. Kids learning and having fun is so exciting. Man, that looked fun, but I'm so glad it's Friday. I know it's Friday, but I have such a tough time looking for things to do here on the weekends. Well, good thing for you, Bear TV has that covered. Why don't we go check around town? Okay. This month, Morgan and I visited Wings Over Montgomery. Wings Over Montgomery is a restaurant located in the historic district of Montgomery County within walking distance of all the little boutiques and stores nearby. They accept cash, card, and Apple Pay, and even do catering. Morgan got the garlic parmesan wings and I got cheese fries. We ate outside and really loved the atmosphere of the whole place. Even as someone who doesn't eat meat, it was easy to find something that still tasted delicious. Next time you're in town, make sure to stop by Wings Over Montgomery. I'll have to try that for sure. It looks so good. Let's come back from around town and get back to things around our school. Our kids in extracurriculars have been quite busy. Choir had their magical retreat in early August. Debate, theater, cheer, and bells all had a great time at their camp coming home with lots of awards. Football, volleyball, golf, and tennis had their tryouts this season and are now underway. Student council is underway as well, so is comedy, sports, improv, and so much more. MISD held their convocation here at MHS with our campus winning the first ever Spirit Stick Award, and kids graduated over the summer with their extra credits. Dude, that's awesome. We also went through Senior Summit and Fish Camp and even Meet the Bears. So much happened in August for sure. I wonder what September has in store. Well, I'm glad you asked, Logan, because we have a lot of things in September too. And before we get to that, I think we need to give one group a quick shout out. We sure do. This month Month's shout out is going to our Robotics Worlds team. At the end of last year, our robotics team got to compete on the world stage. Now let's go to one of our anchors to see if maybe Miss Duffer can shed some light on our robotics team. Hi, I'm Eva and I'm here with Miss Duffer. How's your day going so Very far? Very good, thank you. Um, okay, so how's your season going? Well, so far so good. We're in the planning stages right now um, where we analyze the game that we're going to be playing this year. And so like you can look around, this is our field that we have right here. So each year it changes a little bit. So mm -hmm. we're in the game analysis and planning stage right now. And what are your expectations? Um, expectations are pretty good. So we've got a great group that, you know, we have an intro program where they start out at and build and then those kids step it up to the advanced level. We have a couple of returning kids in advance. So it's kind of like a varsity to JV kind of thing. So mm -hmm. we've got a few of those like kind of varsity players that were there last year that kind of know the ropes and can help guide the others along the way. So expectations are high. And are there any big events that we should know of? Um, so in January, we will be hosting a competition here. Um, it's all day on a Saturday. I believe January 22nd is going to be our date. Mm -hmm. And you can come and go. It's free admission, and it's all day long. The afternoon is where we get to kind of the bracket-style play of the competition. And it's actually, I never thought robotics would be like that competitive, but it gets pretty cutthroat and competitive, and it's actually a lot of fun to watch once you kind of know what's going on. Oh, wow. And is there anything you want to say to Montgomery about robotics? Um, Y'all support has been great. You know, we have, it grows every year and, you know, keep talking about it. Keep sharing it with your younger siblings. You know, we want them to come up and know what's going on here. And, you know, anytime y'all want to come support us, like we said, we do competitions on here that we're going to host. And, um, you know, we'd love to have you guys here cheering us on. It's loud. It's fun. You know, come see us and hang out with us. Great. Thank you. No problem. Cross Country is going to kick off their season in September, juniors have their ring ceremony, FFA has their first booster club meeting of the year, and choir has their princess and superhero tea party. We have Meet the Teacher, Night of Theater, ACT testing, and so much more. We also have sports and activities happening right now. One of our reporters was able to catch up with several of our coaches and sponsors to talk to them and get some information and details about their seasons and activities. Let's see who we found and see what they have to say. Hi, I'm Eva and I'm here with Coach Bolfing. So, Coach Bolfing, how's your day going so far? It's going very well. Yeah. Having a great day. First day of the week, though, you know, have a few days before we get to open up our season, so we're really excited right now. That's great. So, how are you wanting your season to go? Well, we're, you know, we we're obviously want to have a great season. We think we have a good team. We think we have a chance to be to, to be good and uh, to, you know, our goal is to win the district championship. We feel like we've got the players and the program in place to do so. So, um, we're excited about it, looking forward to getting started. Yeah, and um, what are your expectations for your players this year? 
Well, I mean, you know, as always, our, our expectations are for them to work hard, compete hard. Um, you know, we don't really worry about the scoreboard so much as long as our guys work hard throughout the week and then play hard on game night, then uh, the, everything else kind of take care of itself. So, you know, our expectation is for them just to, to work hard and get after it every single day. Right. And um, what are some big games that um, the Montgomery student body should show up to? Well, you know, I think our, you know, big district games, uh, you know, Huntsville and Anna Consolidated, both very strong teams. Uh, we'll, we'll actually be playing them both on the road. And of course, we end the season with Lake Creek at home, which will, you know, probably be a pretty big game you know, yeah. as far as playoffs are concerned. So, um, you know, we treat every game, every game's a big game for us, but but those are some of the ones that are maybe, you know, are bigger than others. Yeah. And um, is there anything you want to say to Montgomery about football? Well, you know, we, we uh, you know, we feel like our guys work really, really hard. We have a, a good program in place. We've had a lot of success through the years, and we're, we're looking forward to this group um, um, being very successful. Our fan base has always been really, really good. Love the, the, the student section, the spirit in the student section. You know, with COVID, even with COVID last year, you know, the students still found a way to come out and support and be loud and rowdy in the stands and everything. And, and you know, we want them to do that again this year to, to really have a lot of fun on Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, yeah. whatever night it is that we're playing, you know, so it's a great event for everybody. And so we're looking forward to getting started here this uh, this week. Hi, I'm Eva and I'm here with Miss Morgan. Um, so how's your season going so far? Well, we have just officially started. Uh, we had auditions on the first day of school for our first show, which is Noises Off, and it is a comedy. And we have about 30 new kids that have joined our tech crew, so we're really excited about all of the new people. Um, I would say the season is starting off great with a lot of new kids, which is making it very, very interesting. That's great. And what are your expectations for this year? Our expectations are always to raise the bar a little bit, to try to um, challenge the students without making it impossible, uh, to make it fun, to make it exciting, and something that they want to be involved in. And are there any big events that we should know of? I would say probably our biggest event of the year is the musical because we team up with the band and the art students to create uh, a huge fine arts event. And this year we're going to be doing Shrek the Musical. Oh. So we're really excited about that. That sounds fun. And is there anything you want to say to Montgomery about theater? I would say that theater is new and exciting and we always have a show that fits every type of person, uh, something that they would be interested in and to give it a chance. Uh, you might really enjoy it. Thank so, you. Thank you. And I'm here with Coach Kurt today. So, so we're just going to ask you a couple questions like how's your season going so far? Uh, so far, um, you know, I front load us. We're pretty heavy in the season with playing some big 6A's. We went to Pearland. Um, we competed really well. We're really young. Um, we have three freshmen on varsity, a couple sophomores. So um, it's been a, a learning curve for sure, but each game we get a little bit better. That's great. And what are your expectations this year? Um, we were district champs last year. My expectations are to be district champs again. Um, beat Lake Creek, of course, and then beat Kingwood Park. And are there any big games that we should know of? Uh, Lake Creek and Kingwood Park. All right. And is there anything you want to say to Montgomery about volleyball? No, come out and support. We've had amazing fan support so far. Um, we didn't get fans last year. I would love to pack our stands, especially on Tuesday night when football doesn't have games. Come out and support us. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Hi, I'm Eva and I'm here with Ms. Orr. Um, so how is your season going so far? Really well. Uh, the kids came back to school really ready to perform and ready to sing and ready to just move from good to great. It's gone well. And what are your expectations this year? Um, well, we have a whole bunch planned for the year. Our first performance coming up is Showtime, and that's October 1st, and the theme is 1980s, and so we're having a good time learning some 1980s music. That's great, and are there any big events that we should know of? Um, first thing, well, is Showtime. We also have our Allstate auditions, District coming up in the next couple weeks. Um, that's the first level, and then we'll move to region auditions after that. And is there anything you wanted to say to Montgomery about choir? Yes, definitely. We have a new assistant director, and right here it's Mr. Tripp. Come on in here. Oh. This is um, Mr. Tripp, and he's the assistant director here, and it's his first year teaching and first year here with us. That's great. Thank yeah. you. Awesome. Thank you. 
Hello, I'm Nick and this is Mrs. Brown, our dance teacher, and today I'll be asking her a couple of interview questions. So, starting off, how is your season going? Season's going well. We've only had one away game, but the Bells did really good. They enjoyed uh, their performance and it was a really nice stadium. We went to New Caney Porter and we're looking forward to doing away games because we were not able to last year, so it was really fun. Um, what's your perspective for this year? Um, my perspective for this year is for everyone to just enjoy what you have, enjoy each day as it comes, don't add extra stress for all the craziness that's going on in the world, um, and just do what you love. Any big, any big games we should know of? Um, well, we have a game coming up Friday. There's a football game Friday at home, so hope to see you there. Of course, our biggest game we usually think about would be Lake Creek, and that would be November 5th. All right, anything you want to say or? Mm, I would say um, to my Bells, I'm really proud of y'all. You've been working really hard, and I can see that your hard work is paying off, and I'm looking forward to the year with you. I'm here with Ms. Morgan again for speech and debate. Um, so how's your season going so far? Uh, so far so good. We have our first tournament this weekend. We're going to be going to the Foster Fulcher Swing Tournament um, out in Richmond. And we have six kids that are going to compete. And we're going to be entering events we have not entered in the last couple of years. So we're really excited about that. Um, and what are your expectations for this year? Our expectations is to continue to learn about Congress and to build or rebuild our debate team. Uh, we had a student that went to state last year in prose, and so we want to, of course, capitalize on that and maybe have a few more students make it that far. But mostly it's to continue learning, to continue striving to, to be a team and to work together at all of our tournaments. And are there any big events that we should know of? Uh, right now, we're just prepping for our fall TFA tournaments, trying to get some students qualified for Tournament of Champions, and then we look towards our UIL season in the spring. And is there anything you want to say to Montgomery about speech and debate? Uh, the real cool thing about speech and debate is that it is also a club, not just a class. And if you are interested in learning about Congress, in learning how to do Lincoln-Douglas debate. If you uh, want to perform individual events, you can meet us on Wednesdays after school in the Makerspace for Speech and Debate Club. Great, thank you. Thank you. Mr. Cameron, so how's your season going? Well, our season has barely just started, but compared to last year, we're doing, we're doing great. We got to have our summer band practice this year, so the band is rocking and rolling. Went to our first football game this last Saturday. Uh, looking forward to a very successful season. That's great. And what are your expectations for this year? Well, if we, we want to compare things to last year, uh, I'm expecting our band's going to do well at all of our UIL events. Um, hopefully, we'll progress on to area marching contests, maybe get to the state level this year. Um, and then hopefully we'll do well at all of our TMEA region band events. Hope, looking forward to maybe having a couple kids make the All-State Band. And are there any big events that we should know of? Other than our UIL marching contests and our spring uh, contest coming up in April, those are probably our biggest events, but we do have a spaghetti dinner with our jazz band coming up uh, right before Thanksgiving break. And then we have our uh, winter concert coming up right before Christmas break or winter break. And then we have a big spring concert in May right before we get out of school. Oh, wow. And is there anything you want to say to Montgomery about band? Uh, band is alive and well in Montgomery ISD. We're just hoping to get more kids involved. Um, firm believer that through music we make great students, great responsible citizens. So the more we can get kids uh, involved in music, whether it's band or choir uh, or theater uh, or dance, uh, the better. So just looking forward to getting more kids excited about band. Great, thank you. No problem. Y'all have a good day. I'm here with Miss Gammon. So how's your season for cheer going? So It's great. We're getting ready for all of our football games right now. Yeah. And um, what are your expectations this year? I think we're going to win state at UIL competition. Yeah? Yeah. Um, and are there any big events that we should know of? Um, we go to regional competition on November 7th. Okay. And is there anything you want to say to Montgomery about cheer? We have spirit. Yes, we do. We have spirit. How about you? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so many groups to support for sure. 
I'm not sure how I'm going to pick one to cheer on Logan. Well, there's a good thing. Many of these are on different days, so they don't overlap, and you can go to multiple groups at once. That's actually awesome. How about we do some trivia bears? The more you know. Do you know how many clubs, sports, or activities MHS offers for kids to get involved with? Well, Bears, that sums it up for us. This has been Logan and Ash. We'll see you next month, Bears.